Okay, I'm back. Uh, sorry about the abrupt cut there. I the, the last thing that I want to happen is to lose any footage. Just because of the stupid damn recording software uh, decides, oh, the video's too big or too long, so I'm not going to save it. Why? I, I, I just have no idea, but seems to want to, seems to, uh, whoa, I can do without the lag. I could really do without the lag, thanks. But yeah, I, yeah, I'm absolutely desperate for a video not to, you know, not to save and have a whole bunch of footage lost. Because that's just not in any way, shape or form helpful whatsoever to the viewing experience of these Let's Plays. Right, can we sort out this bit at the bottom? No! Oh, <laughs> walk into a spike. Why not? Everyone loves doing that. As I said previously, I do not want this uh, secret to take as long as the other one, as some of the other ones have done. I don't anticipate it doing so, and again, as I said previously, the bottom bit here really is the only somewhat tricky bit. I'm going to be very careful once I, once I get there next time not to uh, go too quickly here. But the rest, from this point on, should be pretty straightforward. Wait for this to pass, and then go. And yes, we're there. And we die immediately, but oh well. I'll just very briefly go back and check that it is gone, it indeed is. So let's progress on and get stuffed by colossal lag. And my game's frozen. Hey, how about that? You better have saved that secret. Okay, I think I'll stop recording while my game decides not to have a seizure. Okay, good news. I've just restarted the game and indeed the secret is gone. So good, let's move on. And hope for no more game crashes. Right, gimmick here is that the door up the top there is closed and we need to open it. And to open it, we have to hit this switch with the very bottom but when we go down we'll have some trouble getting back up so this what we have to do I have not hit these switches which I'm supposed to do right from the start that's what I needed to do now we can move on I'm getting way too ahead of myself and yeah now we hit the switches this area down here is open. And I'm hoping that these things go away and stop aiming at me, because otherwise we're gonna be, have, have a problem. Oh, I knew it! I haven't hit the switches, so I'm pretty stuffed. There. I must remember to do that. Or I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> and the timing on this is particularly unfortunate. Ah, there we go. No! <sighs> There's just so much going on on screen here that it can be... Uh, damn difficult to keep track of everything. The shots that you've got to keep 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 your eye on, the blue thing that homes in on you. This is not going good. Going to go good. 
the red laser, which if that touches you, you're stuffed. Here I am stuffed. Yeah, there's a whole ton to keep track of here. And it can be tricky. Gotta watch out for these shots now. Right. Barring a disaster, we should be fine. Yes. Right. Let's have fun with with rotating areas. And I've got to try and remember where on earth the damn secret is. Uh, that's not it. I think. This can't be it, can it? Um, I am going to have to have a think about where this secret is and how I get it. Um, oh, it's over here, isn't it? I think. Is it? No. Or is it? I can't remember now. Yes, it is here. It is over here. Yes, 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 here it is. Okay. Hopefully that wasn't too boring. Apologies. <laughs> Right, this area is filled with all kinds of tricks and traps and invisible blocks and such, but I can't remember where they are, so uh, this could be fun. But yeah, uh, well, thankfully at least I figured out how to get to the uh, the, se the, the secret. That's not going to be good. And for whatever reason as well, this area seems to be slowing my uh, game down quite a bit. Oh, come on. Maybe I'm doing that wrong. Maybe I made a exceedingly difficult jump there, and I shouldn't be trying to do this. Because I, I at the moment, I think that almost was a fluke. <laughs> because I'm looking at this jump again and thinking, how the hell did I make it? Ah, there we go. Right, okay, maybe it's not so bad. I'm not saying it's easy, but maybe it's not as bad as I was uh, making out a moment ago. Right. Invisible blocks everywhere. Spikes everywhere. Or shooting spikes everywhere. A spike maze that I can't for the life of me remember 100% how it goes. Right, okay. That seems to clear things up. Hopefully from this point on we won't be kind of struggling, or we won't be struggling to uh, at least get to grips with the scenery. So, uh, probably time for a cut, but yeah, hopefully after this I will know a bit more what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, back to the spike twisty turny area. And yeah, hopefully, as I was kind of saying at the end of the last video, I kind of know a bit more about where what I'm doing. There's still a screen after after this one where something's probably going to get me. But, um, by the way, this is this is the way to a secret. There is another way which I did know absolutely uh, through this through the uh, spike twisty area, um, but this way is to a secret. Right, one of these spikes is a knob and a half. Can't remember exactly what it does. That's what it does! Yay! And, you know what? Once I've got through this area, I am... <laughs> I am pretty... 
uh, happy or confident that the rest, apart from, or oh, certainly the rest of the of the actual um, non-boss uh, stuff in this game, is actually going to go pretty well because the final path. Um, I hope I don't set myself up to look like a giant jackass. But the final path, I think, is pretty straightforward. So, once this area is done, the boss of this area is a pain. Um, but once this area is done, I think from an actual level gameplay point of view, that I'm pretty much there, and we'll have... Um, really, on only really two bosses that are kind of standing in my way. As I say, I'm sure I I'm not going to do the, the final path flawlessly, but I think I've pretty good memory of where uh, of, of everything that's in that. So yeah, I don't anticipate too many problems with that. Let's do this. this jump actually here. I was. Uh, This jump action here is, uh, can, be, can be very tricky, and uh, having done it first go again, which I always seem to do, and then next time it takes me about 200 years to actually get back to doing it a second time. Always the way. Any, any game I play whatsoever, always the second time I will get f um, uh, less, or not as far as I did the first time, and it usually takes me an eternity to get back to where I was the first, you know, after my first game. I don't know, is there just something to be said about acting on instinct? And what the hell is going on with the blocks there? I clearly have forgotten where all the blocks are on this bike maze there. Yeah, whether acting on instinct uh, is just beneficial, I don't know. It's almost like knowing what's coming is somewhat of a hindrance on that other occasion. And you think for something like these, these games, Yes, I suppose a certain degree of of um, of knowing what's coming, uh, of knowing what's coming, obviously, but oh, sorry, a certain degree of um, a reaction, certainly, but primarily for these types of games, knowing what's coming and know, knowing what's is absolutely crucial. Damn it! That one trigger now is uh, probably what's standing in my way of completing this area. Let's say, I'm not, I, that's not to say I'm not going to die in really stupid, irritating ways on the flippy maze, or indeed the spike maze, or the, sorry, the block maze on the next screen. I didn't expect to die that stupidly, I must admit, but. Yeah, once I've figured out that trigger, I think we're good. The other path is uh, a much easier than this path, by the way, so this is all for the secret. Or well, in my opinion, anyway, it's certainly easier. Right. Come on, don't mess this up. Okay, I'm going to have to have a think about how on earth I do that, because the spike just seems to be moving um, immediately after I land, and uh, that makes it nigh on impossible to dodge. So, what should I be doing? I'll have a think about it while I'm doing this screen. do here other than jump as far away from the thing as possible and then it moves anyway. I, do I have to move, jump as far as possible and then uh, head back left? Looks like way. Regardless, I think that's about time for the video so yeah, I'll have to figure it out next time. Muster 0063 out.